Mrs. Roini. So we've got a really easy dish for you to make, a weeknight meal maybe in a one pot wonder. Um, so we're usually um, trained to sort of boil the pasta in another pan, saute our veggies in another pan. We're going to make all of that disappear into this one pot wonder um, and just make it easy for cleanup and um, cooking. So let's get started. We're going to take some extra virgin olive oil that's organic. Uh, we've got cola vita today. So the, the freshness, the aroma from this is absolutely delicious. Uh, it's quite nutty. So I'm going to take um, some of that here. So we've got some chili flakes and we've got garlic. We're going to put in some onions. I'm going to add the mushrooms because I want them to also get a bit uh, brown and caramelized. Onions have rightly caramelized. Our mushrooms have also gotten a bit caramelized. So we can add our peppers. We can add the broccoli stock in there as well. I'm going to add salt to taste. I've got some mixed herbs here that's like oregano and a um, bit of garlic and uh, rosemary. In goes our cherry tomatoes. Alright, so I've got some water that's already heated a little bit to speed up the process. Um, so we'll fill up the pan just enough so that the pasta can dunk in and that's how our pasta is going to get cooked. So let's just eyeball this a little bit. Let's pick up all the bits and pieces of the veggies that have sort of caramelized down there. It's time to use the pasta. We're using Cola Vita Fettuccine Pasta today to make this dish. So uh, look for a pan that sort of can take the whole length of your pasta um, and you know give it a few minutes and it will sort of shrink in and sort of dunk inside. You let it sit for about a minute and the pasta sort of softens and starts to take the shape of your pan and starts to get in and you sort of you know take the help of your spoon to push it in as well. Check for salt at this point on your um, pasta to see if the salt in the seasoning is right for you. We're going to add a little bit of basil now. I've just chopped it up um, beforehand. We'll add it and then later on once the pasta is done as well, we'll add some fresh basil then. Give it a stir. So if we see like a nice roaring boil coming, we're going to cover it up and just check it every 5-7 minutes to see if the water hasn't completely boiled and to just fluff up the pasta a little bit. Every 5 minutes or so, you know, you should lid, uh, lift up the lid and sort of give a peek at it. Stir it if the pasta is sort of clumping together. Um, give it a shake. Let's check. Yep, looks like it's all done. Let's turn the stove off. The water is evaporated, the pasta is cooked. Let's plate this up and let's sit down to have a meal. All right, people, the pasta has been plated into a beautiful bowl. Let's just add a few extra cherry tomatoes to plump up and make the pasta look even more delicious. Fresh basil, so a couple of that. A little generous drizzling of olive oil, pasta and olive oil are made in heaven, gotta have it. And there we go, so one pot pasta for you and my family to enjoy. See you next time, bye!